In this example, we want to characterize the kernel of a matrix using the row reduction method. And here we have the matrix 1, 3, 1, 2, 1, 4, 5, 5, 9. So to characterize it, we want to do row reduction on this matrix and see what comes out. So we'll start the matrix itself. And then we want to row reduce. We already have a 1 in the top left corner, so that can stay where it is. You then want to use that 1 to clear away the two numbers beneath it. So the first row stays the same. And the second row, we want to subtract two copies of row 1 from it. So 2 minus 2 times 1 is 0. 1 minus 2 times 3 is minus 5. 4 minus 2 times 1 is 2. And for the third, I want to subtract 5 copies of row 1 from it. So 5 minus 5 times 1 is 0. 5 minus 5 times 3 is negative 10. And 9 minus 5 times 1 is 4. I can see right now that I don't need to go to a 1 in the second row yet. I can see that if I do row 3 is row 3 minus twice row 2, I will get 1, 3, 1 in the top row, 0, minus 5, and 2 in the second row, and then 0, 0, 0 in the third row because that 10 and 4 exactly match the 5 and 2 that are in the second row. So I can go one step further or I can leave it like this to try to characterize the kernel of this matrix. Now, the kernel means I want all vectors such that when I multiply by some vector v1, v2, v3, I get 0. What does that mean in terms of equations? That means that v1 plus 3v2 plus v3 should equal 0. And negative 5v2 plus 2v3 equals 0. Or rearranging this equation here, 5v2 equals 2v3, or v2 is 2 fifths v3. So here I can have v3 as sort of a free variable. I can pick v3. I know what v2 is going to be because of this right here. And I can also find v1. So v1 plus 3 times v2, which is 2 fifths v3, plus v3 should equal 0. That's 6 fifths plus 1 is 11 fifths. So v1 is negative 11 fifths v3, which means that the kernel here is all vectors of the form negative 11 fifths v3, 2 fifths v3, and v3 for any v3, which is a number in this case. So for instance, one example, I can pick v3 to be 5. That's a nice example. And if I do that, the vector I get is negative 11 to 5 is in the kernel of this matrix. But I get this for any value of v3, I would get a vector that says the fact that if I multiply a by that vector, I will get zero. So that there shows the process of using row reduction to try to characterize the kernel of a given matrix by reducing the matrix, seeing what you have for a free variable, and then solving for everything else in terms of that free variable to get you to what the kernel would look like for this matrix.